Hey guys! So here's a recap of where we ended the previous video for the Cracky Hydroponic Dollar Tree <laughs> system. Yes, I said Dollar Tree. Watch the previous video so you can see what I'm talking about, how everything was built out, and also the lights and where you can get them. These seeds are only a few weeks old. They were germinated over a floor vent. That is also covered in the previous video. I will link it at the end of this one. So stay tuned and see the upgrade these guys have gotten. It's kind of exciting. I can't believe that it's only day 18. I can't believe the roots on these things. So now is the time that the larger plants need some nutrients. So I followed the YouTube train all the way to Master Blend. I ended up getting it on Amazon about 25-ish dollars, but it'll last a long time. So I made a diluted concoction, uh, about half the power, maybe a little less because I was new at measuring out granules and didn't have a scale. And so now they have their yummy, yummy food. Don't pay attention to the storage on the top shelf, but we had some rainy weather and I had some extra lumber, so I built myself some floating shelves. These guys needed an upgrade and I wanted to clean up my office. Say hi to the squash plant. I'd say these guys are pretty happy. We've got microgreens, we have basil. I've been testing out different ways to have self-watering things. Don't mind the pool noodles, they're covering some holes. There's those pepper plants but I think they like their high-rise condo. Okay, stop judging my zip tie lattice structure. It's kind of been a, I have to work as I go and figure things out and I can't really move these guys. So yeah, no judging, but look, there's a baby flower and then I get to eat its children. So remember that one time I told you I like to try new things? Well, I thought a big cooler would be great. I got it filled, all the nutrients, the babies moved over. This was gonna be for mostly lettuce that I pull from the microgreens, but then it leaked. That was fun. Okay, so at this point, I've realized that it's prime real estate to be using these grow lights, and I just bought more. <laughs> so we're getting into the season where it's time to start the seeds for the outside garden. So that's what's on the top. And then these are those pepper plants. Now in the back, you see the lettuce. This is from the microgreens that you saw in the big bowl. When I'm ready, I pluck one and I stick it in and it starts to grow lettuce. See, they get put in the nursery, the little bowl, and then they move to the big one. But look at this squash plant. Yesterday, the flower was gorgeous, but no, today it decides to wilt for the video. Stay tuned to see what that root structure looks like. These are more babies. Seeds were germinated over the floor vents. Again, see the previous video, and I already have some that are sprouting. Now here are the bean plants. The one on the left hasn't been doing so well, but the one on the right has been great. You really wanna pick that, but it's just one. Do you cook one bean? But look at the baby beans. I'm going to eat him soon. Is it cannibalism or vegetableism? If you eat the young of your plants? I 
I've learned so much through this journey about Cracky Hydroponics that I'll be taking it into the outdoor garden this year using five gallon buckets. Stay tuned. So make sure you hit subscribe so you can be kept up to date with everything. Also, you'll get to see how many plant babies that we get to grow and eat.